Neil Young was once asked about his perspective on his music career, and one of the quotes he said was, it's all one song. And I thought that was an interesting way to look at it. In fact, his career is pretty remarkable when you think of, I just did a quick Google search, and it said he's recorded over 50 albums. Now, a lot of those songs have resonated with audiences all over the world, and some of them have really latched on for decades. And one of those is what I wanna share with you today in this old man guitar lesson. We're gonna dive into some folk chord embellishments, some syncopated strumming with some quick chord changes, and even some walk-ups and some little bass lines you can play to add to your rhythm and spice it up. So let's dive straight in. We're gonna start off with that opening intro, which sounds like this. Three, four. Now this song is in the key of D major, but it starts off with this riff it sort of has a little like flip in the polarity from D minor to D major. Let me show you what I mean. If you take this chord here and you play it, it's just a typical D starting from the fourth string, open, two, three, two. And you move it up to the fifth position, which would be open, five, six, five, you actually get a D minor seven chord. So we've got D here and then basically D minor here. Now what Neil does is he actually opens up that first string, which gets a really cool sound. Now it's a D minor nine. And then he plays this little embellishment where he hammers into the fifth fret from open. So he goes. Okay, now what I'm playing here is a lot of 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, just using a down up pattern in the strum hand. Now, the bass notes and the lower strings are palm muted, right? So I'm just muting those strings instead of And then the treble strings actually come through and ring out. So you've got one E and a, two E and a. Okay, let's break it down just into little chunks here. We'll start with a downbeat with down strum, one E and a. Then on the and, of one, we're gonna hammer into that fifth fret. So one, and a, then two, okay? Then on the E of two, two, E, we'll do an up strum. So one, E, and a, two, E, and a. And then back on the bass strings there on the and a of two. So one, E, and a, two, E, and a. Then three, E, and a, four, E, and a. So that's hammering in on beat three, three, E, and then and, a. Uh, that's bass, treble, then bass, treble again. So three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and then we'll finish with and, a uh, on the bass strings. So all together, one, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. Again, the trick is muting the bass strings and then letting the treble strings ring out. Now, you don't have to nail this exactly. If you play some kind of D minor with hammering and then go to the D major, it's gonna sound close. What I'm showing you is really the exact rhythm. Here it is one more time. One and a two E and a three and a four and a... Now, here we play a two four bar. We're gonna go one E and a two E and a... Okay, so that's a hammer, bass strings, treble strings, bass strings, treble strings, bass, bass. So one E and a, two E and a. And then we go down to D major. So we have a bar of four, four, then a bar of two, four, and then we go to D major. Here it is all together. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. And a two E and a one. Okay. Now here we go to a D major and we do little embellishments. We go like. Okay. Now what that is is 
the D chord, but we're hammering from zero to two on the first string, E to F sharp of those notes. And then we're gonna do a little pull off from G to F sharp, three to two on the first string. So Neil does this thing where he'll just do these little embellishments off the chords. And it's a lot of it is just improvised and it has to do with like when he sings and then when he stops singing, he plays a little busier in the guitar. And you could really see how he's great at accompanying himself on guitar. So once we land down on the D major, we'll go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, so that's the intro and I'm gonna break down this entire song, but if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you the five must know chords and scales to map out your entire fretboard. And this is gonna be one of the most useful guides you ever see in your guitar playing journey. I put it all on just one page and I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide and grab that as my gift to you. I'll put that together with the first two bars. Here we go, three, four. Then we go into, oh man, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Then the vocal comes in and we do the same thing, but we just don't do all the busy hammer on stuff. We just sort of strum, one, two, three, four, one, two, then D, two, then here. You can do more embellishments when the vocal's not singing, so like, oh man, my life, I'm a lot like you. Right? And you have that little interplay between the vocal line and then the guitar, almost like a call and response. So that's two, three, four, one, two, then D, then again. start the interlude and here we go to this basic groove it sounds like this all right so a couple new chords here let me break them down for you we've got a D chord and then we go to this is like an F chord but you just don't make it a bar chord. And folk players use this all the time. I love this chord, it's F over C. You just play your F bar chord, but you don't play the six strings. So you just play from five down, three, two, or three, three, two, one, one, okay? Then C, it's from the fifth string down, three, two, open, one, open. And then G, G Neil plays like this, it's a folk style. Ring finger, middle finger, open, 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 pinky. And that keeps, you know, his hand in this position where it's just so easy to change chords. Once you go like this and switch to this G, your whole hand shifts. So it's it's really just, and I play it the same way, it's like, it's harder to play if you're not used to it, but once you get used to it, it's harder not to play that way because you're gonna work harder because your hand has to shift around. And really, we wanna play smooth. We want our chord changes smooth. So that's a secret right there, so. Okay, now rhythmically, we're gonna play this groove. Down, 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 up. One and two, the end of three and four and one. Here we'll wait. G comes on beat four. So one and two E and a three and four E and a one and two E and a three and four and one and two and a three and four. All right, out of that interlude, we go into the verse and that sounds like this.
All right, so we've got this repeating progression here. We're gonna go D to F, then C, then G. Okay, then we do the same thing again. D, F, to C. But this time, instead of G, we go back to F. And this is, the full name is F over C, but I'm just calling it F, okay? Then we do it again, D, F, C, G. Now the last time, and this is goes over the lyrics like a coin that won't get lost. D to C, F, G, and then, then we do this little walk up. And what I played there was D to C, F to G, and then I played the notes G, A, B, C. So that's three on the low E string, then open two, three. And then D, we're walking into D. So, like a coin that won't get lost. Okay, so here's the entire verse played as one piece. And again, the lyric cue at the top is, Old Man, Look at My Life, uh, 24, and there's so much more. Here we go. Three, four. time like a coin that won't get lost D to C F to G walk it up all right next we get to the chorus and this is where the song really starts to build and Neil Young goes up into his higher register and sings old man take a look at my life I'm a lot like you we're gonna play this chord progression Alright, so a couple new chords here. I'm playing a D, but now I'm bringing in that A string. Just making it a little stronger. And then A minor 7 is the next new chord, and that's played from the 5th string down. It looks like C, just without this finger. Or A minor, you just open up the 3rd string. From the 5th string down, open, 2, open, 1, open. Then we'll go to E minor 7. Just like an E minor, all six strings here, open, two, two, open. But we'll add our pinky to the third fret of the second string on the note D there, and then play the open E. And then we have the G. So it's gonna start with a bar of D. We'll do the same rhythm, that basic groove for the first part, one and two. That's down, 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 up. Then we'll go down, up, down, 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 up. That's three E and a four E and a. So one and two E and a three E and a four E and a. Then we have these hits. Okay, we've got three chords in one bar. We'll start on the A minor seven. We'll do two down strums. One and, then on beat two we'll rest. One and two. Then on the and of two we'll hit that E minor seven and let it ring till the and of three. Strum it again. Then right after beat four we go to a G chord on the E of four like this. Four E and a. So it's a quick syncopation. You have beat four and then right after four E and a. So all three of those chords, A minor seven, E minor 7 and G are in the second bar like this. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 E and uh, back to D. Play this four times. Last time. We're 
back to the interlude section. So it's a lot of fun to try and nail all those rhythms, right? And whether you're playing along with the recording or you're playing with a band, you wanna try and sync up and lock all of that in. But it's just two bars there. D, A minor seven, E minor seven, quick G, D, right? For E and uh, that's that syncopated rhythm. Now, there's a couple other things I wanna point out. When Neil plays the verse, he a lot of times adds these cool folk style embellishments to the chords. For example, he might do something like this. So what I played there was, first when I went to that F chord, I lifted off this middle finger, got the note G, hammered into the note A there on the second fret. You can just mix that in. On the C, you might go. And that is the note D hammering to E on the fourth string. Just again, that middle finger, same thing, right? Lifting it off, hammering it down, and then go down one string, G to A. Now, a lot of times in this style, it'll be hammering into the third of the chord. So for example, if I took the F chord, and I just look at the notes in that chord, F, A, C, that's the root third fifth. The third is the A, so we'll hammer into that note. If I look at the C chord, I've got C, E, G, root third fifth. Here I'll hammer from D to E, that's E is the third of C. So hammering into the thirds on the D, right? You hear that all over this recording and it's just a folk guitar trick that you can add. It's a lot of fun to do. And it's just sort of responding to the vocals. Like it's gonna be a little different each time. That was a little overkill, but you get the idea, right? So we're just hammering into those notes. Now, when the song ends, we go. We go back to that verse progression, D, F, C, G, and then it ends on D. So despite the song starting off with that minor sound, sort of a D minor, and then when the song finally ends, it resolves to that D major. So that's why I'd say it's in the key of D major. So take your time with this one. There's a lot in there from, you know, the folk embellishments to the different rhythms, maybe some of those chord shapes aren't as common for you, so your fingers gotta get used to them. So take your time. Go over each section, and then when you're ready, try and put it together. And to help you work this out anywhere on the fretboard, grab my free fretboard guide PDF. There's a link below. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide. And this is gonna be one of the most useful, just one page PDFs you'll ever see for your guitar playing. I can guarantee that and it's completely for free. So grab that as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. And for more Neil Young, check out this video next.